Hello and thank you for joining us. Today, we're gonna to be covering a follow-up video on what we found for this DD platform that came in with low compression and excessive cooling pressure. And you may be surprised that the root cause of this failure could be from a deleted truck. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. Let's get right into this video. Okay guys, so just a recap on this particular unit. Came in with low compression on number six and excessive coolant pressure in the coolant system. Now, what we did before we got to this particular step is of course we checked the valve train for any valves that were out of adjustment. We checked for damaged rocker arms. We checked for any bent valves and there was no indication of that. So that's why we have to pull the head off for further inspection. So in the process of pulling the head, what we found is the number six cylinder, the exhaust valve, uh, excuse me, the intake valve is actually broken. Now it, a big chunk, and I'll give you a closer look, a big chunk broke off here and it was just beating all in that cylinder and it really damaged his head and caused all these problems to happen. I'm gonna give you a closer look of the head gasket because we were looking for failures in the head gasket to see if that was the root cause. But no, we have a damaged head. I'm gonna give you some closer views of this and I'm also gonna show you what we found to kind of give us an indication that this was a deleted truck. Okay, so before we move over to the actual engine, and I'll show you the cylinder, the cylinder head gasket, I wanted to give you a closer view of the actual cylinder head. Now we have it stood up so we can get a better view of what we're, what we're dealing with here. But what we found here is a broken, broken intake valve here at the, at the valve seat. And you can see a big chunk of the valve actually missing. Now, what this does is it, it prevents this cylinder from being sealed correctly. So the compression that is supposed to be for power is actually being escaped and going either, of course, into the cooling system or going into the oil system and creating just low compression. It has to be sealed so that you can have strong compression and create that power. Now, the other valves are looking okay. This is the only valve that's damaged. Now, we, we try to find a root cause on what caused this particular failure. And the only thing that we can see is that the truck has been deleted. Now, how, how does a delete cause this problem? Now, a delete is gonna actually give you more power. That's where a lot of people are after. But one thing that, that they don't keep in mind is to create more power, they're gonna be dumping more fuel in the cylinder. In a lot of cases, you're gonna have bent valves, broken valves, damaged head, which causes low power in the long run. So this is why we're against eliminating or doing any kind of modification to your after treatment system, doing any kind of deletes, because it's gonna shorten the life of your engine. Of course, you're gonna get power right up front. You're gonna feel that power maybe for the first year or so, but over time, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna have damaged valves, damage to the valve train, low power, and it's gonna be a costly repair. Let's move over to the engine block so I can show you the head gasket and show you that we have no indications of a head gasket failure. So we'll take a look at that next. Okay, so we're back here on the engine block and I wanna give you a visual of what we're looking for. For example, if we didn't find a, fa a failed head, this is what we're gonna be looking for. So here on the block, this is where the cylinder head is bolted. And of course it seals this whole area. Now, if we didn't have a failed head, as I mentioned, we're gonna be looking for the coolant grommet, signs of coolant grommet failure. We're gonna be inspecting these coolant grommets. What you're gonna be looking for is signs of tears or anything in the cooling, syst cooling system where the seal is being lost. Now, since that head is sitting on here and everything's bolted, these cylinders are supposed to be sealed for the compression. So since we have a failed head, of course, that compression is being released and the pressure has to go somewhere. And that's what we're looking for to see where the pressure is actually, actually escaping into the cooling system. We don't have any signs of that combustion going into the cooling system. So more than likely it's going through the head since the head has failed on us. But I wanted to give you an idea of what to look for if you had uh, this particular failure and you don't have a head that's failed. You're gonna be looking at these grommets here. And this head gasket just sits here and we're gonna be inspecting all these grommets, the upper and lower grommets to see if we have any indications of where the seal actually lost 
or the seals being lost and that combustion is going into the cooling system. Uh, you want to check the surface, the deck, the, see the firing deck to see if you have any signs there. On this particular engine, there's not really signs of compression going into the cooling system. You, can, you would see indication of, of wear uh, here uh, leading, or leading to any, any, coolant, any, any coolant jacket, and that's where that combustion, combustion pressure is being released either into the cooling system or into your crankcase. Now, since we have only pressure going into our cooling system and we pulled the head and we found broken, broken valves, a damaged head, that's where our combustion gas is actually entering into the cooling system. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is indicators of this engine actually being deleted. So let's move over and check a look at that. Okay, so we're back here at the table with all the components removed. And the last thing that I'd like to cover is how we found out this truck is actually deleted. The first indicator is gonna be when we hook up the computer, you're gonna have a lot of active after treatment faults, different types of faults, either the the uh, computer's not reading the after treatment system. These are all indicators of a deleted truck. Another indicator is we have a block off plate. This is the block off plate that I wanna show you here that shows to be trying to block off the EGR crossover tube. So when the EGR valve opens, this is supposed to be keep all that compression uh, or that exhaust compression in the, in, the, uh, in the intake without it escaping. Now, this is why I call this as a hack job, because you can see the type of job that was put together. The weld is very awful, and this is the type of work that's being done to eliminate these after-treatment systems. Now, with the technology not being available for these types of modifications, a lot of this is just being a hack to lead using older programs, older tunes onto newer engines, and this is what happens. You have engines that will produce more power at the beginning and some guys will get away with it a little bit longer than others but what we see is usually or after a year maybe two years you're going to have low power complaints issues with the valve train all types of problems scuff liners these are all problems that can come up when you eliminate or delete your after treatment system this is why we do not recommend any kind of modifications or you don't go with a deleted truck the best practice is going to be keeping up with maintenance getting the maintenance program in place and running this truck under ideal duty cycles where you're not idling it for a long time so you don't create problems with the after treatment system. But this is all what I wanted to cover with you today. I hope this information was useful. And, and you guys, like I mentioned before, it's not a good idea to delete these trucks. So I hope this is more convincing for you. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, be safe.